Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's a really impromptu Target dollar spot haul. If you watch the big Target clothing haul, you know I said that I would haul the dollar spot separate. Um, and I just have a few autumn things. First, before I left from Missouri, Emily called me and said, she was at Target and I had really cute things at their dollar spot. Um, and since she is my assistant on the channel, um, she knew exactly the kind of things I was looking for. So the first thing she found was this little bag of gray pumpkins. Um, I wonder if you can see them okay. Um, this little bag of gray pumpkins, they were $3. You get six pumpkins in them. So they're just like if you got, uh, they're bigger than the three for a dollar pumpkins at Dollar Tree and they're plastic. They're not really foam. Actually, maybe they're foam. I don't know, they sounded a bit like plastic, but I think they're foam. And she also got them in white with the little black spots. Super cute. Um, I found my, oh, she found my, um, decanter labels. So Sarah Jane from Chic on the Sheet found these and I was like, yes, I have to have them. My little backstory is my dad, my dad's friend owned a liquor store in Queens and he got all of these really beautiful glass decanters. And when we were in the seventies, when we were younger, he used to put one of each rainbow color in the water, like colored water in each jar and they would be on the windowsill. Um, and now I have inherited them and I love them. And I just always wanted to have like labels. So I bought, recently bought labels for them. Um, I think they're gonna be in another hole, but I really wanted these. They say Venom, Potion, Elixir, and Poison. And they have chains on the back that are adjustable, which I thought was a great idea. And you get uh, four for $3. She also found this gray and this white pumpkin that I totally love. They're dollar pumpkins. They each have like a speckle on them. So the gray has a white speckle and the white has a gray speckle, which just makes them super cute together. And they were each a dollar. So those are super cute. And the last thing that she found for me was this gray. Now I picked up the white one that sort of um, bottom heavy and then the short black squatty one, but I did not know that this gray one existed So this is the a third one in the set that I got from the Target dollar spot there in Missouri So that's everything that Emily picked up Let me show you what I picked up when we went back The first thing I found was this sign and I'm not really like I, I was going to get the Hocus Pocus sign and I just was like, no, this sign is everything because this is me. This is welcome to our haunted farmhouse. And I totally feel this way about my house during Halloween. I don't live on a farm, but hey, there's a farm behind me. Um, but it is beautiful and it's got wood grain detail and it's in black. Like you could see the, the wood grain. Hold on. Let's see. There you go. You see that wood grain and it has slats across the back. And it is absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm totally gonna hang it up. Um, I feel like somebody told her that they were trays. And maybe they're supposed to be. Um, it doesn't say that. Oh, it does. Huh, one count decorative tray, haunted farmhouse. And I guess maybe because of the feet, it's, I don't know, it doesn't really, doesn't really scream tray to me because it doesn't have any sides. It just looks like a flat board. Like, so to me, it almost looks like it would be great leaning against um, a bolt, like the wall or something. So like that, let's lean it against Lisa's wall. Um, <laughs> um, and the other thing that I got or things that I got was I know it's $3 and I know we did make a longer pumpkin this year uh, from $2 at Dollar Tree. But again, look at that stem. That stem is everything. Uh, it's got a plastic tendril and everything. And it's so wonky, I love it. And it's gray with white speckles. Are you picking, are you, are you noticing a theme? Um, so I think I showed him in a a shop with me, they had like these wooden apples and wooden acorns, but I did not see a wooden black cat. 
And of course, black cats are famous, uh, you know, there is Salem from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. There is um, uh, Banks from um, Hocus Pocus. I'm trying to think of, it's like a famous black cat. I mean, those two are pretty famous in the Halloween world, but all of a sudden I just went blank. Like, I feel like there's almost like an, a character that was a black cat. Oh, well, if I think of it, I'll write it in here. I know. It was $3, and I know that this just looks just like the houses from the Dollar Tree, but you guys know that the houses from the Dollar Tree are rare unicorns. But this one is already DIY'd for $3. It says, Home Sweet Haunted Home. I absolutely love it, and it's black, and it has white writing on it. And it's the it would be the size of, like, the medium house, because it's not as short as squatty, and it's not as tall and skinny as the small ones. And it was $3 as well. So that's it. That's everything from the dollar, Target dollar, but I am so happy that you guys were able to come along with us when we went um, shopping and I have lots of pictures that we took along the way to be at the end of the video. So if you guys, um, actually I'm gonna show you pictures from Target as well as the 99 cent only store and um, some from the Dollar Tree, but I'll label what they were because those videos were so long. So this is gonna have to um, be the Target Dollar Spot hole and all the shop with me. Hi everybody. I just wanted to let you know that about more than 50% of you like for me to talk through my shop with me, so I will. Um, first, we're gonna start with, before I even went on my trip, I got some shots of some really cute Christmas stockings they have at Walmart this year, and I had to share them with you. Um, I did not put any of the prices on this shop with me. Um, but I tried to get a pretty good shot of the tags to give you guys roughly an idea. Like most of these stockings were around 8 to $10. Same thing with the ribbon was about 5 but you can kind of see the price tags here. Anything that I've shot from a Dollar Tree obviously is a dollar. Anything from the 99 cent only store or most of the things from the 99 cent only store um, are 99 cents unless I tell you otherwise, okay? So this is our uh, first shopping trip in Texas. Um, the boys spent almost the entire trip trying to scare me with these Halloween masks. Um, but then Emmy was a great assistant. She held up lots of things for me to shoot. She knew that you guys would love all of these wonderful holiday decor, these Halloween scary, creepy things. They even had costumes for dogs at one and two and three dollars, which I thought was pretty amazing. They had plenty of autumn items still out because people still, we haven't had Thanksgiving yet. So make sure you stop by if you have a 99 by you or a Dollar Tree and get some things for Thanksgiving. And of course, my wonderful assistant, Bentley, holding this beautiful home sign. That was just around $5, which I was pretty impressed with. Um, they did have lots of new wall decor stickers at this um, Dollar Tree that is on 99 and 59 um, there in Sugarland, um, and I love the new navy blue in gray colors. I was pretty impressed with this navy blue. It does not go with any of my home decor, so I didn't buy any, but I definitely wanted to share it with you guys, because I know a lot of you guys have a little bit more blues in your decor. Now, you see those metal baskets? You already know we bought some, but I wanted to show you all that they had. Um, they had this amazing sort of teen section, which I was so impressed by. Um, it actually said that in the sticker. I thought I got a better shot of it. But this Look is this the Target. Target in Sugarland, which is it's amazing. beautiful. Um, I had to get a picture of some of the Starbucks cu collector's cups uh, from my sister Jane. Um, I've collected them in the past. She collects them as well. So I had to shoot, shoot some of them for her. And then Big Lots back here in Rolla. As you know, Emily came back with me to Rolla. And we went ahead to Big Lots and got a look at everything they had for Christmas. They had a little bit of autumn decor left as well as Halloween. But I just wish I could have taken two hours to shoot, do a shoot, with, a shoot a shop with me for you guys. Because they have so much, oh, so many beautiful things. I was going to say so much beautiful stuff. But so many beautiful things is a nicer way to put it. I wanted to share it with you because no matter what your decor, whether you're into woodlands or into a farmhouse or even into glam, the Big Lots has a variety 
of styles and way it's laid out in their store is absolutely gorgeous. This vintage Christmas, and that's where I think of it as a uh, vintage Christmas, um, each sort of style um, takes over one aisle in my um, big lots here in Rolla. So check out yours if you can. We got a picture of this sign because we could totally DIY that for less than $15. Um, but I had to get it just for inspiration. And a lot of these I do take for inspiration. Um, sometimes you'll see a picture and I'll just grab a picture of it. I'll see an item. I'm sorry. I'll grab a picture of it just so I can remember that I wanted to DIY it. Um, sometimes I just love this and I'm like, well, I love that saying. Maybe the style is not my, my uh, maybe the, the look is not my style. But I can go ahead and reincorporate that saying into a piece of decor in my house. So do that while you're at the store. You don't have to be a YouTuber to take pictures at the store. Um, some stores do discourage it. But if it's for your own personal use, it's usually not a problem. But what I always just do if somebody says, you know, you really can't take pictures, I just say, um, I can't see, so I'm trying to zoom in on stuff, <laughs> which isn't a lie. I will tell you more, more times than not, that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, but I just love the new look of Big Lots, the way that they're going with their stuff, their style, their decor, their their selection is amazing. I saw this autumn decor that so reminded me of Olivia's romantic home. And I'm going to go ahead and share it with her on Instagram because it was this beautiful shabby chic farmhouse autumn things. And I couldn't believe how many beautiful things they had. Now, just two quick things from Walmart. We saw these really cute Harry Potter, like, costume outfits. They weren't really costumes. They were more like outfits. Um, they were with the kids' clothes. And now to Bucky's. Um, if you don't know, if you're not from Texas, or really not from certain parts of Texas, Bucky's is this ginormous rest stop. It's not really a rest stop. It's a gas station that has this ginormous store inside of it. Um, and they make their own food and it's, oh my gosh, the food is so good. Um, but they have all of these beautiful, amazing decor pieces that I'll show you here. Um, some say they're made by hand by somebody in Texas, which is amazing. Um, the prices are really reasonable for homemade DIY decor, I mean decor items. But you know, we I love to get pictures for inspiration. Um, but some I just, you know, can't make up as I go along. So then we went to Gordman's. Uh, Gordman's is a department store that's not unlike TJ Maxx or Marshall's, um, but a little bit higher end price wise, I was thinking the way to say it, but they had, again, I feel like just gorgeous decor pieces. Um, they had furniture. I, there was this beautiful, absolutely beautiful black and white um, checked slipper chair, which I have no room for in my house, so I did not buy it. But I was actually took a picture of it for inspiration because I'm going to make a slip cover for one of my slipper chairs. And you know what, maybe that's the direction that I'll go. Um, they had Christmas decor out again, amazing inspiration. Um, this was on clearance, but does that look familiar to you guys? Cause it looks familiar to me. I took a picture of this cute little wagon cause I actually have it in orange and I think I'm going to paint it to look like that. There's this beautiful believe there was white metal, like an enamel metal. Um, I got a, um, galvanized one that you'll see in a haul and then tags, I just took pictures of all the tags that I could because I actually bought two cases of tags from the Dollar Tree because we're going to do tag week. Um, and then lovely, absolutely lovely decor. Some I just definitely took pictures for inspiration for DIYs and some I just have to share with you. Now we're back at the Walmart. Well, not back at the Walmart, but we're at the Walmart now in Sugarland, and their autumn decor was outstanding here I feel like all oh, well, the autumn decor is just about sold out there it looked like they had just put it out absolutely stunning their selection the amount that they had oh my gosh the variety the prices ugh, I just I can't keep going on about it but I just really had loving that red truck that was actually on both sides which I really really loved you know we used a similar red truck from the Dollar General in a um on a tablescape but we had to kind of disguise the back because the back is not done 
Um, we're going to make these curly cues. I'm pretty sure we can make these curly cues on our channel, which I'm going to hopefully get that DIY done for you guys. And again, more tags. I just took more pictures of more tag inspiration. I feel like that's a big thing going on this year. Love this red truck. It is actually a garland red truck, but it is a three-dimensional one. Um, and it lights up, which I know you can't really see it light up here, which is kind of sad, but... Um, again, more inspirational DIYs. We're totally making those puff trees. Love this reindeer. Oh my gosh, he's so adorable. I didn't buy him though, don't worry. <laughs> and then their red truck for $5 is metal, um, just to give you an idea. Love these yard stakes. The Old Holy Night with the Nativity, I think I'd like to recreate as a DIY for wool decor. And then, of course, the ski signs and the cut your own tree signs. These things are always in style. They're nostalgic and vintage, but you know what? They are never go out of style, and I loved that barn, but it was a little bit too pricey for me. Again, these really long signs are, are so in fashion now. Um, I know that um, Megan, um, Melissa, no, Megan over at Glue Guns and Roses just put together one that's gorgeous on her channel. Um, so make sure you check her out. We're definitely DIYing some of these cone Christmas trees. They were actually at quite a few stores. Um, but this, we're back at Hobby Lobby in Texas now. Um, and I just took lots of pictures of things that I knew that you'd love, that I love. I wanted to duplicate DIY as well as just share with you. Because um, there's only so much room in the world, you know, in your house. But again, sometimes just take a picture of something that inspires you. Um, and you can just take it home and see what you can do. Guys, that is a Ray Dunn pillow. I had no idea that Ray Dunn, Ray Dunn made pillows. It's beautiful. Um, now, this is at Hobby Lobby, but we did see a similar one at the at-home store when we were in Texas. Um, that is a conical tree that's covered in pom-poms, if you like that vintage look. Um, wreath hangers, totally going to DIY on our channel. These are cotton ball bowls, which was amazing. I bought these. You'll see them in an upcoming haul. All of these garlands are just so my style. I'm not really sure if I want to do one of them or all of them. And we're definitely going to DIY these because this is like the easiest DIY ever. And they want $10 for each one of them. I'm like, nope, sorry, Hobby Lobby. Even with a 50% off sale, you're not getting $5 from me. Again, more tags. I know, more tags. Um, but... I didn't buy it. You'll be proud of me. But this burlap buffalo check ribbon was screaming my name. But I just couldn't do it, not even for $6. So now we're back at the $99. And these were $9.99 as well as the lanterns on a stake, uh, which you'll see next, are $9.99. Um, I thought they were absolutely stunning. But I also thought that, you know, I don't really need it. This tray was $4.99. And that word bless is actually carved out of that one layer of wood, which was gorgeous. I took a picture of this because we actually bought this from the Dollar General, but I think we paid $2 as well. It was two, It was a $1.99 at the 99 only store, but we did buy a companion one, which you guys will see in an upcoming haul. These pillows were gorgeous, but they were $5.99 each. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and then, of course, they had gorgeous hand towels. They always do. Um, now at the Dollar Tree, uh... This was the Dollar Tree. Jim and I went on the way home uh, around the Dallas area. I loved these Candy King garlands. I've never seen them before. As well as these cold cups that were all dressed up for Christmas and these warm cups. I love the one that says slay it all day over on the right. And look what I see. I think you might see that guy coming up in a haul soon. Um, and then, of course, I loved their towel prints. Of course, their towels are microfiber. Yuck for Jerry. But look at this, how they killed this red truck this year. I love it. Now we're at Bucky's again, and I had to take a picture of that because somebody shared it with me and was going to buy me one, and we ended up buying one. So it's pretty exciting. Um, and then this is for Lisa. Lisa, they had Definity Candy at Bucky's. So um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Don't 
Don't forget to share with friends and family. Anyone who might be interested in seeing what we got at the Target dollar spot. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. So as always, you take care. God bless. I'll see you next time. Bye. You know, might be interested in seeing what we got at the Dollar Tree. I don't know at the Target Dollar Spot. <laughs> don't forget to share with friends.